Welcome to the Battlefield 4 beta. What's going on guys? It's Beast Armada bringing you a Battlefield 4 beta gameplay commentary. I'm going to be playing obviously on the Siege of Shanghai. That's the only map you can play on obviously. And I'm playing Domination I believe. I don't play Conquest because I'm on the Xbox 360 and you guys know how the frames are and the graphics and everything's just not as good as it could be but that's simply because it's a beta. And for the fact that this is dated hardware and software you know, the consoles are obviously really old and it can barely run Battlefield, you know, uh, even on some of the lower settings. They do run Battlefield around 30 frames, I believe. Last time I checked, you know, it does dip below 30, especially when you play Conquest on this map, because whenever that uh, giant skyscraper collapses, I guarantee you it goes down to at least 10 frames sometimes. You can't actually really monitor your frames on console, but just by looking at it and being a PC gamer, I definitely can tell the difference between 30 and 10 frames and uh, 30 and 60 frames, you know, and even so forth more than that. Moreover, of course, I think, honestly, though, I could uh, I could handle being on a uh, constant 60 frames, you know. Now, Battlefield, you know, I'm, I'm okay with 30. That's fine on console. That, that works. That gameplay that you just saw at the very beginning, that was actually, obviously, Xbox 360. This is all recorded on 360. And that was probably around 30 frames. It wasn't that bad. Battlefield can kind of get away with being on 30 frames. And most of you know that's kind of how Battlefield 3 roughly runs on 30 frames. And I like to play on these smaller maps just to kind of get more out of the old console. Just because I know how the consoles behave. They don't like to behave too well when it comes to Battlefield. Because the game is very graphic intensive and GPU intensive. Uh, and all that other stuff. You know, very graphic and video card intensive. Because... You know, the 360 and the PS3 don't have the up-to-date, I guess, video cards to run this game as fluently as some of the more, um, you know, more educated and better uh, gaming PCs and the new generation consoles. Now, the next generation consoles, last time I heard, they're going to allow more people in the servers, which is great. Uh, the graphics are probably going to be a little bit higher. Well, actually, they will be much higher because they have a better video card in them and better just all-around hardware, which is good. It will probably allow to run Battlefield probably hopefully over 30 frames. Hopefully we'll see around 40 to 50 on average, but you never know. We'll have to see when the game comes out. I'm sure it'll definitely be able to get up to 40 to 50 frames on uh, medium to high settings. Now, my PC, it doesn't run this game good, but that's honestly because the PC version is not as optimized. And, you know, it's obviously a beta. But my PC gets destroyed when it comes to this game. I know a lot of people are saying, well, you got to do this and that, you know, to get it to fix and stuff. I'm not really interested in that. I mean, just because I don't really play uh, PC Battlefield in the beta as much because it's not really as fun because even then, even if I did get that fixed, I'd probably still run it around 25 to 30 frames on some of the lower settings, and it, that's just not fun for me. That's a little bit worse than console, and I just find I get a little bit more enjoyment out of playing on the console and Domination, so that's just that. Uh, I do want to ask you guys real quick if you want to see any more uh, Battlefield 4 gameplay from me. I know a lot of people have been posting on YouTube. But I was wanting to know if you guys want to see some of it on my channel because I'm more than happy to bring some more of this to you. I've got quite a bit of gameplay saved up. I played. It's pretty much the same map, obviously, so it may get repetitive, so I'll probably space the videos out. But I do cut them into clips so you guys can get uh, the maximum, uh, you know, the maximum enjoyment out of it. Hopefully, I'll try to keep, uh, you know, the action packed and stuff. And I think right here, you no, know, this is in the next few clips or whatever, but there's this one part where uh, these people are invisible. And, you know, Battlefield 4 is pretty buggy still because it is a beta. But I think it's a little bit more buggy on console. I don't know, though. It's kind of hard to say because on PC, again, it's not optimized that well. So we'll have to see. But right here, here's an SMG. I don't know what this is called. I think it is the XM4. I'm pretty sure I just saw it in the kill feed. But this thing drops people really fast in close range, much like you would expect from an SMG. So that's really good. I like the SMGs in this game. At least this one in particular. It's pretty fun to use. And I do like the uh, starter assault rifle. It's pretty nice. I don't know, it, you know, I'm just testing out the classes, you know, just trying to get a feel for them and get a feel for Battlefield 4 in general. And it does play a little bit different than Battlefield 3, but it's generally the same game because it has ran on the same engine. Pretty much they just updated uh, some of the Frostbite engine uh, stuff as far as I'm concerned. Uh, yeah, here's the invisible guy right there, is, by the way, is what you saw. <laughs> so that was pretty funny. I'd show you guys, but I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you guys think. You guys, of course, have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next one.